Y'all, I'm about to cook some greens. And this is gonna be my first time cooking them with these uh, smoked hocks. I thought they were called ham hocks, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna, about to put these in the water right now, and I'm about to season my water. Chop one yellow onion and put it in the pot with greens. Not with the greens, but with the <laughs> ham hocks, okay? Because we got to cook the ham hocks first before we put the greens in there. So there's one large yellow onion. Minced garlic. However much you want, y'all. I put in about mm, three tablespoons or two. That's all. Add some chicken bouillon. You can add whatever bouillon you want. You can add beef if you want to, but I'm adding chicken. Just seasoning the water. Cayenne pepper. God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh my God. Somebody took the thing off, y'all. Ain't this a bottle? Oh my God. Hey guys, what's the most fun deal? I just twisted this uh, leave out into like a, um, a flat twist. Hopefully it blends with the hair when I take it out, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna curl it like I've been doing. Anyway, we're about to add our greens. Where's my, um, I get the greens y'all that are already. Um, Cut, wash, all that. And I'm just about to put them in here. I wonder if I should wash these again. I wonder. Should I? Anyway, these are collard greens already, but we wash. Just gonna add them. A whole bag. My um, ham hocks are tender, but I don't want them falling off the bone because I'm gonna eat one on camera. So we're just gonna let this cook now. And um, I was gonna add some uh, pepper flakes, but I put that cayenne in here. That's gonna be enough freaking seasoning. So now we're about to let this cook. And, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna have it with some um, cornbread and I may make, make some mac and cheese because I just feel like they go together. You know what I mean? Does it not? Greens, cornbread with ham hocks and mac and cheese. I don't know. I, don't, I just, I can't think of anything else that goes with that. And y'all know <laughs> that I get happy anytime I can eat some macaroni and cheese, honey. I cannot get enough of my macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Put that top on. We're gonna let this do its thug and sizzle, honey. Make sure you taste your broth because that is how your greens are gonna taste. <clears throat> like your broth. So make sure it's nice and seasoned. I'm not adding anything else uh, besides that chicken broth. That flavors everything. Y'all should know that by now because I use it all the time on everything. So yeah, let's let that cook. All right, y'all, so right now, I'm going to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in here. Just a little. Just a little. Then, I'm going to put some 
a little bit of brown sugar. This is the Truvia kind. I wonder if I have any more because I ain't got only got a little bit. I saw somebody do this before, so I want to try it. I've never tried um, to put brown sugar in my green. Pretty sure you're not supposed to put in a whole lot, so. And we're gonna let these keep cooking. One thing, y'all, a little bit of liquid smoke. Just a little bit. We don't need much. This is the hickory liquid smoke that I'm using. Mix that up. You don't have to do that step if you don't want to. I, I've even seen people put Worcestershire sauce in here. I've never done that. I'm not gonna do it this time either. But I'm about to taste my juice. And the green. Ooh, girl. Mm. Y'all. When I tell y'all, this, this is the best pot of greens I didn't cook. Oh my God. Oh my, girl, I'ma fix me a big old bowl of this, honey. Oh my God, it's so good. And it's already ready, honestly. These greens are cooked. They're already cooked. Girl. Mmm, oh, the flavor is just through and through, y'all. Mmm, I don't need to cook this no more. I'm about to go get ready and turn these off. This is the perfect pot of greens, y'all. Oh my God, I can't wait till Murder Show try some. <laughs> All right, y'all, we definitely making mac and cheese. First, I change my mind. And I was like, mm-mm. It's gonna go together too good. So, change my mind, girl. We about to whip it up real quick. It ain't gonna take long at all. Dang, I forgot to get the milk. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece of cheese in there. I really need to be um, cooking these noodles first. Cause I don't want the cheese to get ready before the noodles. And that's probably what's gonna happen. So we're gonna have to do it at the same time. noodles to um let me see hello i think i want to cook my noodles back here if this okay here we go yeah i to put my noodles on oh this this is it tiktok shop y'all i have a video up just go to um my tiktok shop this is the size large okay I just have on my Gucci slides, girl. If you want some, click the link in my description box. Um, and you'll see the shoes. Just go down the page and you'll see the shoes. They are from DH Gate. They my Gigi shoes. <laughs> I'm using my low carb pasta, y'all. The low carb pasta is 
in my Amazon storefront under pantry. Okay, under pantry. So we can just put this on super duper low, but it's still gonna melt fast. Um, so this is the recipe for the mac and cheese now. This is Velveeta block cheese. This is um, Oaxaca cheese. I don't have no measurements, y'all. I just measure with my heart. So we're just gonna cut a chunk of this off of here. Cheese. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait. And I'm just gonna put about that much in there, okay? You could put it in there broken up, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna break it up. Oh, that Oaxaca cheese is hard. Ooh. Break it up. Next time I'm gonna break this Oaxaca cheese up before I even put it in here. And the cream cheese should melt pretty easily. Then we're going to add our chicken bouillon just a little bit to season the cheese. Just a little. I need the top of that pasta. But, uh, here it go. There we go. All right, so this is gonna We all good, y'all. We all good. I just got to figure out what I'm going to put everything in. I need my big bowl. Oh, this bowl is too big to be using. This is too big, huh? It is. Um, for some reason, I cannot find... The bowl I usually use, I can't see not even one of them guys. And I have about six of these bowls. Up oh, here we go. Here we go. Found it. Found one piece. Cheese bowl, also. 
which is gonna be a small bowl because I'm not gonna eat a big bowl of mac and cheese. This is gonna be the size of my mac and cheese bowl. All right, so we got all that together. All right, so we're still waiting on the cheese to melt and we're waiting on it's the stuff okay it is on I'm waiting on this pasta to boil okay all right i'll be back all right y'all so i'm gonna put some cracked black pepper in here before i put the pasta in oh my god i cannot wait to eat I literally don't even want to talk. I just want to eat. I like lots of pepper. Oh, I like the different colors of cracked pepper in here. This is my first time getting um these different color peppercorns. It's my first time. All right, we have just a couple of little chunks in here to get nice and smooth. Our noodles are still cooking though, so I'll be back. Y'all, just before I go on camera, I'm gonna warm up this piece of cornbread. Remember I made cornbread the other day? That's what I'm using the other half of that cornbread. So we are gonna get that ready to be warmed up. Our noodles are still cooking, they almost ready y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm about to pour this water out. What I love about this pot is it has like these vents where you could just pour the water out um, in the pot. So, love that. Murder Show Mama bought us these. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the pasta and the cheese and we're just gonna stir it up there. It. I hope I didn't make too much pasta. All right. Now you just stir it up. Do y'all know that Leia is obsessed with this macaroni and cheese? She asked me to make it for the holidays. <laughs> I was like, what? And she can't wait to have some today. I cannot wait to. Cause this macaroni and cheese, when I tell y'all, it is delicious. With that combination of cheeses, it's like perfect. It gives me the perfect macaroni and cheese taste that I always be craving when I want macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I'm over the baked macaroni and cheese. Over it. <laughs> I like it just like this. D. Delicious. Oh my goodness. Yum. All right, y'all, we are ready to go. Y'all, y'all ready for this? Oh my God. Look at this. Look at these queens. Oh my goodness. Help. Maybe I need a slotted spoon or something. Cause, oh, look at that pig skin. She's I'm about to get me one of these. Oh, 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 girl, girl, girl. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell you girl. nothing with these greens. I should have made both bags, but that'll give me um, another time to make them, so. And if I need to make another pot, girl, that's just what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely want juice in there. All right, I think that may be enough. Okay. 
to reveal that big freaking ham hock. Oh, gosh. I hope I put enough uh, greens in here because I am going to tear the greens up. Put my cornbread in the microwave. Hot off the dagger with the mac and cheese. Mother flipping, please. Girl. It's good every time. Every time is good. Ooh. Let me save Lele some. Because, honey, she <laughs> can't wait for that. Okay. Let me warm up my. drinking orange tangerine flavored water today. Ooh. Let's do it y'all. I'm ready to eat right now. Everything is nice and hot. Girl, look at this. This is this is insane. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Wait, let's bring it up there. Okay. I hope I got it, y'all, because <laughs> that was a long time. Oh, we made, we have some homemade collard greens with ham hock. We have some homemade mac and cheese and homemade cornbread. Yummy, freaking delicious. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Y'all, it is about to go down. Who loves collard greens? Oh, we. We are also having an orange tangerine flavor water. Yummy, freaking delicious.